Okay, look. Here you go. That's all I got. This has been a real treat. Unless you want to go another round. One of us is going to have to move on, and I was here first. When you hear that the Star Wars universe is in trouble, there are a few things that might pop into your mind. Some of you might think that the fan base is warring once again over whether The Last Jedi is a good movie or not, or whether Disney is trying to push things too far with all of their spin offs and sudden surge of live action adaptations they're doing. But in this case, it's a much more focused matter, as one of their main stars of The Mandalorian has been rebooted from the show for very troubling reasons. So, allow us to show you the real reason why Gina Carano was fired from The Mandalorian. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 6. Cara Dune Before we get to her firing, we should probably address why this was such a big deal. You see, when The Mandalorian was being teased, no one knew that it was going to be such a big show as it would turn out to be. So when people heard that Gina Carano, a legendary MMA fighter who had been trying to be a big-time actress, was cast in the show, people were unimpressed. But then we met her character of Cara Dune, a former rebel shock trooper who met the titular Mandalorian and helped him multiple times in his quest to save the young baby Yoda from Imperial clutches. What really made people like the character was that while Cara Dune was strong and confident, she was also very calm, rational, and not a strength character only, which was something that Gina had been typecast in for various roles in the past, including her time in Marvel when she played Angel Dust in the first Deadpool movie. Even Carano herself noted that she was grateful for The Mandalorian giving her a role that was much deeper and allowed her to actually act. Fans resonated with Cara Dune and almost instantly started to say that she deserved her own miniseries, which apparently she was going to get, until recent events made that impossible. Number 5. The Controversial Tweets It seems like more and more now that people are using Twitter and other social media avenues to go and showcase their true colors. And the same holds true for Gina Carano, who you'll see in a bit has been using Twitter the last year or so to voice her personal views on certain subjects. But the final straw came not too long ago. Earlier this week, the hashtag FireGinaCarano trended on Twitter after the actress posted and then deleted an anti-Semitic story on her personal Instagram. The posts were captured by fans and shared widely on social media, causing an uproar. In that post, she implied that being a Republican today is like being Jewish during the Holocaust. You can see why fans were in an uproar over that, right? And though there was a hashtag fire Gina Carano before via 2020, which we'll break down soon, it's this one that led to Disney letting her go because of her abhorrent posts. Gina Carano is not currently employed by Lucasfilm, and there are no plans for her to be in the future, said a spokesperson for Lucasfilm in a statement obtained by io9. Nevertheless, her social media posts denigrated people based on their cultural and religious identities, are abhorrent and unacceptable. They have been looking for a reason to fire her for two months, and today was the final straw. A source with knowledge of Lucasfilm's thinking tells THR. But what do they mean by that? Well, for that answer, you have to go back to last year. Number 4. The 2020 Posts the first true showing of Gina Carano's beliefs started to emerge in mid to late 2020, because early in 2020, she was riding high on the wave of support following the release of the first season of The Mandalorian. However, as the global pandemic started to rage on, and the government at both the state and the national level tried to go and temper the spread of the virus while the vaccine was being made, Gina Carano voiced opinions that were very much in line with those that either didn't believe in the vaccine or felt that the restrictions that were put in to deter spread of the virus was an assault on personal freedoms. Gina made multiple posts via text and picture form that outlined how she felt that wearing masks were stupid and that being forced to wear masks were indeed an abuse of power and a tactic by the governments, mainly the state government given the lax push that former President Donald Trump gave on the matter, to try and contain and control people. Which obviously was a lie because as many respected doctors noted, wearing masks was a key way to stop the spread of the coronavirus. And just as important, when people started to not wear the masks, like in late 2020, the cases spiked and the deaths in the United States alone doubled. But she didn't stop there. During the 2020 election, Carano, a known and now very much radical Republican, posted this tweet. 
we need to clean up the election process so we're not left feeling the way we do today. Put laws in place that protect us against voter fraud. Investigate every state. Film the counting. Flush out the fake votes. Require ID. Make voter fraud end in 2020. Fix the system. But like many claims of voter fraud in that election, all of those statements were false. Not to mention, all states require IDs to vote. That's kind of the point. To make sure that people who are registered are the ones voting. And not to mention, all states have rigorous processes that go and make sure that the voting is fair and legal and properly counted. She was following the trend of top Republicans like Donald Trump and his most loyal followers in saying that the only right result was Trump winning if anything else was fraud. Yet, despite these radical notions, Disney couldn't fire her because they were just an opinion and not exactly slander per se. But the Holocaust post? That was another matter entirely. Number 3. Forcing Connections If you're unsure why that now-deleted video was so controversial, it's very simple. Carano is basically saying that the people of the United States that are cancel culture and such are persecuting good Republicans, meaning people like Trump and the others who have abused power, and tried to incite riots like the one at the Capitol building and claim voter fraud, because of their actions, and thus it was like the Germans persecuting the Jews. Except the big problem with that is that the Holocaust was caused by the Germans and their leader, thinking that Jewish were filth and they were the scum of the earth. And in the case of the leader of the Germans, he blamed them for everything that went wrong in the world. They tried to exterminate them simply because of their race and their beliefs. People are trying to cancel certain Republicans because they're corrupt, because they are using their elected power to hold up the country and only allow their brand of change, not anyone else's. That's a big difference. And not to mention, cancel culture isn't trying to kill people, let alone 6 million people. Gina Carano absolutely crossed the line, and thus, she had to go. Because to allow someone with such hate in her heart and blinders on should not be put on a pedestal via a much-beloved show. Though, in terms of that show, there is a question to be asked. Number two, to replace or to ignore? Because whether we like it or not, Cara Dune is still a part of the Star Wars universe, and they were clearly setting her up for something big in Season 2 via possibly the Rangers of the Republic series, or her getting that miniseries that was planned initially. The Mandalorian Season 3 isn't filming right now, but it will be soon, and many wonder if Cara Dune will be in it in some capacity. Some fans are crying out for the character to be killed off just to end it right there. Others are wanting her to simply be replaced by a person who isn't so controversial. Lucy Lawless has been floating around because she's very much the opposite of Carano and others in terms of political views, and people love her for it. It's very much a situation that won't be easy to resolve for various reasons, but whatever the decision, it won't involve Gina Carano. Number 1. Accountability But what does this all prove in the end? That might be the most important question of all because the Gina Carano situation is not one that'll go away immediately, and many are wondering what impact it'll have on the industry as a whole. But the true lesson here is that of accountability. Words carry weight, and your actions have consequences. So much so that even a tweet or an Instagram video can change everything for you if you say the wrong thing. People forget that, and then firings like this happen, and it's made all the too clear that words carry weight. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at Gina Carano and why she was fired from The Mandalorian? Do you think that Disney made the right call by doing so? Do you now look down on Gina because of all the various things she has said? Can you believe that she said them at all? What do you want to happen now with Cara Dune? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.